Good evening and welcome again to another edition of Word Life. We are coming to you live from the Destiny Empowerment Worship Center. I am Prophetess Michelle Sobers and Apostle Sean Sobers uh, is joining us tonight as we continue uh, with Word Life. Life is in the Word, so we are happy to be here tonight to share with you the Word of God. And God's Word is always giving direction. It's always giving counsel. It's always full of wisdom components that enables us to live the best kind of life that He created us to live. So join with me in getting out your notepads, your Bibles, your iPods, whatever it is that you're taking notes with, so that we can get into the Word of God tonight. For the past three weeks, we looked at the life of David and some of the dysfunction that operated in his life, even though he was a mighty king. But tonight we are going to take a different spin on the subject matter that we were talking about so that you can see that not only uh, uh, dysfunction is something that can operate in a generational life, but also the, the opposite side, which is the blessings of the Lord, that which will cause us to increase and cause us to uh, grow spiritually. We, we're going to talk about that aspect of it to bring a balance. So let's pray tonight. Father, we give you praise and thanks. As we commit this time to you, we ask God that as you engage our spirits, you will give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. We thank you that you're open. We are, we are open to receive what you are speaking to us tonight. We open up so that your capacity can, we can embrace your capacity so that there will be multiple streams of things that you will download into our lives tonight. We thank you for your word that will never return to turn to you void, but it will accomplish that which you desire and you choose and you plan. We thank you that your word is making inroads in our lives and is shaping and forming our destiny to the glory of your name in the mighty name of Jesus. We welcome you again. And just so I can tell you in advance that we are here on Wednesdays from 7 to 8. And we'd love to, for you to join us in the sanctuary if you are living in Guyana. Uh, also, we are here tomorrow at the 5, 5.30 prayer, 5.30 to 6 prayer. And on Sunday, we meet for 8, 8 a.m. and 10.30 a.m. services. Location is 59. We're located here at 59 Durban Street, Wortmanville, between Haley and Hardiner Street. It's very easy to find. The sign is on the building, so it's very easy for you to find it. Amen. Let's welcome Apostle Sean as he joins us tonight. Amen. Good evening to our studio audience. It's good to have you guys here tonight, and I am very excited about this topic because, you know, when you talk about generational blessings, that's my thing. Amen. And so welcome, 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 welcome. Tonight we are talking about generation authority of blessings. And like Prophet has said before, um, we, have, we have spoken about the dysfunctions and the generational curses and, and, and so forth. And um, we really want to just take a little swing tonight so that you can see the importance of us living in the blessings of God. And we're going to really, really dig into this. So we want you to grab your Bibles and so forth as we enter in. How many of you are excited? Amen. Amen. I pray that those of you that are watching tonight, you're excited. Please go ahead and share and subscribe and so forth. Go with me in your Bibles to Genesis chapter 1 and 27. And that's our base scripture where we begin. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Pastor, Pastor Michel, I just want you to focus on this word tonight. Don't be no likings or nothing. Amen. Right. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 1 and 27, it says, so God created man. And uh, we want you to know that you are created to be a blessing. That's first and foremost. You were created to be a blessing. Um, it says, and so God created man in his own image, in his likeness, in his image and likeness of God. He created him male and female. He created them male and female. And we know that that's the heart of God. God's heart is, is that we as, as his people, we walk in the true blessing. The true blessing. And I'm not talking about, um, we're not just talking about houses and cars, but we're talking about blessings. 
real blessings. And we're going to get real deep into this tonight. We're going to talk about uh, the importance of passing the blessings of God down and how the Father needs to be the one that, that should, uh, should be able to release the blessings to us. Um, when we look in society today, we are seeing how the missing link is there where there's no... Uh, uh, fathers, there, there are no fathers in place. Uh, leadership is not in place, and so it hinders the, the 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 advancement or the release of true blessings, spiritual blessings. Amen, prophetess. So uh, the scripture says that God created us in His own image, and the purpose of that is so that uh, others can identify, can see the reflection of Him as he operates through flesh so in our image and his image and after his likeness he created us male and female now we need to understand that we were created uh not only to reflect his image but we were we were created uh with a purpose that has been assigned to each of us each and every one of us has have a distinct purpose and a specific calling and that calling uh, enables us to fulfill the mandate and to execute God's kingdom in the earth. So we were not just dropped into the earth because there was nothing else to be done. Each one of us has an assignment. And each yes. one of us, we are called to a people to bring, out of peop to bring up a people out of darkness into the light of Christ. So there is a job that we yeah. have to do aside from our regular job that we get paid for there is a job that god has called us to do and we have a responsibility to execute that with grace with excellence and in a way that which reflects god's <laughs> kingdom amen uh, we have a divine mandate somebody say we have a mandate we, we have, have a, a divine mandate. mandate to extend the blessings of god to the next generations and that is why it's so important that we as believers, we come to a place where we understand clearly. Um, it's not just understanding, but where we begin to embrace this blessing. If you go with me in the book of Numbers chapter 6, uh, we're going to read uh, 24. 24 to 27. Numbers chapter 6. And this is the priestly blessing. And that's why every, every man, every male man, every father should be the priest in his family. He should be the priest in his family and his home should be the sanctuary because it is important that he release this blessing. All right? The Bible says, the Lord bless you. And we have sang this song a lot of times. This is the, the, the benediction that we, we use. We, 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 a lot of times at the end of the service, we pronounce this, the Lord bless you and watch you and, and watch guard and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and enlighten you and be gracious kind merciful and giving you favor and these blessings are very very when you when you when you grab a hold of this this change your entire life for, for the better when you grab a hold of this it says the lord bless you and watch guard and watch you guard you keep you make his face to shine upon you and enlighten you and be gracious kind and merciful and giving you favor giving favor to you the Lord lift up his, his approving countenance upon you and give you peace, which speaks of his shalom. This is a blessing that should come down, that should be released to your children and your children's children. We're going to break this down in a, in a moment. And they shall put my name upon the Israelites and I will bless them. As much as we have, have an understanding of how to destroy curses over our families, we have, to, we have to have an understanding how to release blessings over our families. There are many times we, 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 we cancel curses, we, you know, we, we destroy curses and all sorts of stuff, but we never come to another place where we understand how to access the blessings and how to release the blessings to the next generation. In fact, before you can even release it to the next generation, you have to access that blessings for yourself. All right. In, in the olden days, in the, in the Bible, if you go back, you would notice that the priest will always lay his hands upon, upon, upon the sons and he will always release the blessings to them. It is important that this blessing is released. All right? When we talk about blessings, most of the time we link it to something to do with money. 
And that's not necessarily the full description of what a blessing is. So let me see if I can break it down for you. Aside from the financial blessing, because you could have all the money in the world, but walk in a place where you don't have divine health. You can also have all the money in the world and you're not at peace yeah. in your household. So when we talk about blessings, we're talking about the total man, the, 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 the part of, of uh, God's supply as, yes. it as it relates to him being the source, but also the other things that uh, encom encompass about your life, like your health, uh, your relationships, your marriage, your children, your legacy that you are leaving. So blessings, uh, all of that pertains to what blessings are. Also, something that we learned from Abraham, when we are going to uh, release a blessing and we're doing it in the name of the Lord, we are releasing to the individual or individuals the backing of heaven. Yes. And when we talk about the backing yeah. of heaven, we're talking about all that God has assigned for you in that moment, in that time, with all angelic blessings, yeah. with all ambassadorial rights, with all privilege as a son, with all uh, supernatural covering and enhancement and enforcement, etc., etc., etc. That's what we're talking about when we're talking about blessings. So, lots of times when, when we hear the word uh, blessings, we just think about it in the context of money. All right? And that's, that's a limited way of thinking about it. I was doing something today in, in the house, and uh, I have, we have a, a dog, but we have some strange dogs that have been hanging around the yard. Hmm. So I was doing something today, and the, the Lord said to me, he said, you have this dog, your dog, for security, but others have joined to protect and to, to defend what you have, mm. even though they don't, they, are not, they don't belong to the household. And then he said something that I found strange. He said, as it is in the natural, so it is in the spirit. So naturally, there's yeah. an attraction for them to protect. But spiritually, there is, there is a host that God has assigned that I don't necessarily see with my natural eyes, but is there for my protection. And others are joining because of what he has called me to do. Yeah. yeah. So even when you're cleaning, you can find revelation. Amen. <laughs> and so the Lord spoke to Moses and he said, uh, and he said, speak to Aaron and his son saying, this is the way you shall bless the Israelites. And we understand clearly that we are spiritual Israel. And you're reading from where? I'm reading number six. Oh, well, number six. All right. And it says that the Lord bless you and keep you, protect you. When you release that blessing, that priestly bl bl blessing that comes from God, something happens this is something that we have to come to a place where we where we in ourselves we should release upon ourselves and then we should release it to our generation we should release it to our children all right it says that the lord bless and keep you which speaks of god's divine protection yeah all right it uh sustain you and guard you when you release this priestly blessing that no no wickedness no evil can even come your way for a matter of fact if god is guarding who is bold enough yeah. to stand <laughs> against him as he defends? Mm. Yes. Nobody is bold enough to do that. Mm -hmm. So when God protect, when God protects you, God releases His angel. We like, we like to, we like to quote the scripture. Um, he gives His angels charge over me and, and so forth. But this is where you begin to understand the power of God's blessing upon your life. This is a prayer that, and I, I, if I were you, I would have been uh, highlighting this scripture, um, Numbers chapter six from twenty-two. All right, this is a particular uh, scripture that you should be using. It says that the Lord bless and keep you, protect you. Uh, uh, 25 says the Lord make his face to shine upon you, which speaks of God's uh, divine favor upon you. When God smile upon you, when God's face shine is, is, is upon you, things will happen uh, in, in, a, in a manner that you will not even, sometimes your mind cannot even comprehend some of the things that happen. 
because the Bible says God's favors upon you. God's faces shine upon you and be gracious to you. It speaks of where God surrounds you with his loving kindness. With his this mercy. and his mercy. Go ahead. With his favor. If we take uh, a card out of the scriptures, let's say Esther. Uh, and let's look at her, her husband when she entered the courts and he had to extend his scepter. His, his face shined upon her as he, ex as he extended his scepter because the punishment for entering into the king's court without uh, previous notice was death. So if we look at this in the light of that protocol yeah. that God ta taught us in the book of Esther, when God's face turns to us to shine upon us, it doesn't matter who is cursing, mm, come who on desires now. Come on to now. curse come on us now. because his face is shining upon us. He said to Abraham, he said, I will bless them that bless you mm. and I will curse them that, that curse, curse you. you. Come on so now. when his face is shining towards us with favor, whatever the enemy has planned or is plotted or is, or is executing, because God's face is shining towards us, it, it, it is a blur to the enemy. It, it, it cannot come to pass. It will not manifest. It will not have any root because God has favored us. And we yeah. need to see it in that light. The scripture talks about where we are blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. But uh, in, in, when, when you look at the scripture with the story with Adam, the Bible says that, that when God created them, he blessed them. You got to understand, beloved, the fact that you came in, that you're, you came into the earth. God has endowed his blessings upon you. You have God's stamp of approval in the earth realm. Are we together? The Bible says that God blessed them. When, when he created him, God, God blessed them. He gave them life. He gave them direction. He gave them vision. Yeah. Yeah. God will never give vision without provision or God will never release provision without, without a vision, vision. Mm. and so this is God's blessing that is released upon us I believe that we are in a time we are in a day where and I think I put this up yesterday that and I, I keep saying this that God has not forgotten you God has not forgot you because if before time, before you were formed, God knew you, it's not just knowing you, but God has blessed you. God, the Bible says that he's blessed us with all spiritual blessing. We are blessed with that. So when, when, when people see uh, us begin to, or, or they see the natural things begin to magnetize itself towards you, it is a direct result of the spiritual blessing and favor that is upon your life Amen. are we together yeah. glory to God hallelujah so God bless them God give them direction God give them vision amen the Bible says <laughs> God bless them let me go back I want to go back to this for a moment because I want I want you to I want us to really understand he says to and be gracious the Lord lift up his countenance his face upon you with divine what approval so when we walk with our heads down and I'm reading the amplified here it is because we don't understand and and it is one is one dimension to understand but it's another dimension to embrace what God has said concerning you the Bible says, I wish above all that you prosper and be in health even as your soul prosper. And these are prophetic promises that God has released within his word. So when God say these things, it's, it's not just so that we must just hear it, but we must embrace it so that we can become it. So we're not seeing, we don't see it happening a lot of times. You know, the, 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 in, the, in the kingdom, we get excited when we start to talk about, about demons and and, and chasing out demons but we do all of that but we, we, we leave a void we never uh, activate or fill that void with the blessing that has already been bestowed upon you before the foundation mm. and so we become demon chasers but we don't become blessing embracers oh Jesus so we chase all the demons we, we rebuke, but we, don't, or but we don't embrace the true blessing that has been released upon us. We ought to walk, we ought to begin to walk in this priestly blessing. Mm. 
Are we together? We ought to uh, 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 demonstrate to the world that I'm not blessed because I went to university. I'm not blessed because I have a home or I have a, a car. I'm blessed because I am a direct <laughs> uh, connection from God. I'm a son of God. I have, a, uh, I have the fatherly blessing upon me. Amen? Amen. That's how we ought to operate. The Bible says that the Lord lift up his countenance, his face upon you with divine approval. God has approved you. Whatever you are walking in today, whatever you are doing, whomever you are, it doesn't matter uh, uh, what you have gone through, um, whatever, God has approved you. Glory to God. You are approved by God. This thing that you are, are living in right now, the things that are happening has been approved by God. It was not approved by man. In fact, man is approving what God has already approved beforehand. Man is endorsing what God has already approved. Let me put it that way. Are we together? So you don't wait for the approval of men when you have already been approved and already been chosen. The Bible says that we are a chosen generation, a royal priest, priesthood set apart by God. And so God has already chosen you. God has already uh, predestined you. God has already put his stamp of approval upon you. So you are not waiting to get in. You are in already. Oh, Jesus. So that's where we need Glory to now. God. That's where we as the children of God need to have what we call a paradigm shift because the way you see yourself is what will be portrayed by those that are watching at you however you your wherever your esteem is whether your esteem is yes. in a low place or it's in a high place jesus people will respond to you yes. based on like we like to say these days the vibe that you are giving so we need to know who we are in christ and know the provision that god has made for us already he has already opened up everything that we need for us to succeed in our lives. That's right. The reason why we are not walking in that measure of success or that dimension of authority is because we have not taken the time to recognize who we are in Christ. And like I said a few weeks ago, it's not mm. a position of pride. Knowing who you are is important so that you will, you will know how you can stand, what you must emanate. But if you are unsure of who you are, from the time you start vibing, others are picking up on those signals. And you know what? A lot of times we say, oh, I'm a child of the king. Okay, I understand you are, that you're a child of the king. I am, I am a child of the king. But within the kingdom, there are privileges mm. that have been given to me. Privileges and rights. And rights. rights. That Ranks have been given rights. to me. I have a rank in the house. Mm. And I'm not the butler. I'm a son. Yes. That means I, I'm a near. Yes. So I have a right to the throne. Glory to God. And so, you, you know, just to walk around and say, well, I'm a child of the king. I know who I am. I, you, you have to know what has been given to you. The rights that you have. The legal rights that you have. Are we together? And you have to stand in that right and operate in that right and function to mm, that right. That's right. And allow uh, the thing that God has called you to do to be manifested through it. That's right. Because like I said earlier, we are all called to a people. That's right. The people that the Lord will use me to bring out of darkness mm. is not the same category of people that he will use you or somebody else in this room to bring out. So when we are emanating or we are displaying God's kingdom and his presence or mm. even his Jesus. sonship, we must do it at a level that will draw them in so that they can come out of darkness to experience his light. And, and, and that's why it's important that you, that we embrace it because this thing is generational. And that's where we're going with this. And that's it is, very important. It is generational. It is very, and so very important. for us not to understand and not to embrace is to hinder the next generation from getting in the race. You need to tweet that. You understand what I'm saying? You are hindering the next generation. Everything that God has set up, that has been set up, the table that has been set up was not just designed for you only, but it was designed for the next generation. This is what it's about. 
You have to come, we have to come into it, embrace it. It has to flow through us so that it can get to the next generation. And that's why as a priest in your home, and, and you know, that's why the enemy tries to mess Fights with leadership a lot of times yes. because he understands that this, this thing has got to come through the priest. Oh, yeah. Lord Jesus. It has to come through the priest. And that's why you, you look around and you don't see priests in the home. You don't see fathers in the home. You don't see fathers releasing the blessings. Because that is what we are. We are commanded to release that blessings to our children and to our children's children. Let me, let me, let me, let me tell you something. Go to Genesis, Genesis chapter 12 and 3. Are you getting what we're saying tonight? Glory to God. Genesis chapter 12 and 3, and, and, and we, want you to, we wanted to see how the blessings will, can pass through or how the, how, how the blessings should pass through fathers. And then we're going to break it down. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 12 and 3, it says, And I will, I will, this is God speaking, I will, I will bless those who bless you. Because we, we carry this blessing upon our lives. Anybody that choose to mess with what God has already established, God's going to mess with them. Are you hearing me? He says, I will bless those who bless you, who confer prosperity or happiness upon you. So the more, my God, I, wa I want you to see this whole scenario that even though you are blessed already, you can still operate in curse in curses and so if because you are blessed and you choose to release that blessing what you are doing you are opening up your life to more blessings oh lord yes so he says i will bless those who bless you and i will curse though i will curse him who curse you <laughs> see <laughs> this thing comes somebody says about me if you don't know what you have, you will, you, will, you will attempt to move in another realm. So when you understand that you have this blessing upon you and you begin to release this blessing upon someone else based on what you have on you, God will continue to shower you with more blessings. Glory to God. When you, when, because you are blessed and you move contrary to what God has already established upon you and in you, you are bringing curses something that you did not have before you are now beginning to open up yourself to it are, are you seeing what i'm seeing here i'm just giving you a revelation of the word that's all i'm doing mm. Mm. all those who curse you in you not even around you and i want you to see here look in genesis chapter 12 and 3 i want us to see that everything that will happen is a direct result to what happens in you. Yeah. So if you are not experiencing, if we are not experiencing a certain level of increase, a certain level of blessing, a certain level of peace, a certain level of whatever, it is a direct result of what is going on in you. Watch what it says. In you will all the families and kindred of the earth be blessed. He did not even say curse. Mm-hmm. But he made it very clear. He says, in you. Now, if he says, in me, then I have to first understand yes. what is in me. What's in me. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus. Are we together? Robert yep. mm -hmm. <laughs> So it comes back to you. To how you see you. To how you understand what the word says about you. Mm. To how you manifest what that word says about you. Because the you that you are manifesting will mm. either operate positive or negative for you. Mm. And the you that you are manifesting now, today, in this moment, will either bring people out of darkness or Come keep on them now. in Come darkness. On now. Because the you that you are manifesting must be or must continue to be a reflection of God. Mm. It must continue to be a reflection of God in the understanding of who you are in God. Because he created you in his image oh, come and on after his likeness. And he put you on the earth to stand in a place of dominion. Yes. To function in authority. Yes. To operate by the rights that he gave you. Yes. One yes. of the reasons yes. that you don't go home and see 
a whole set of alligators in your house because the alligators understand that man has dominion over oh, the earth. Oh, come on now. Come on now. Come on now. They understand that now. they are a lesser creature. Yes. And they understand that when they see us walk, that we carry the authority that God has ordained from the foundations of the world. Demons understand that too. But when you don't operate in the you that God created you to be, that's when they wreak havoc around you because they know that you are not operating in the function of his image and after his likeness. Exactly. So when he says that you are blessed, you have authority. You have dominion. You have power. You should be, let me tell you, you should be, we should be walking in that. Now, I got I to gotta, I gotta finish this here. In you, all the families will, and, and kindred of the earth will be blessed. And by you, they will bless themselves. themselves. In other words, God wants this thing to continue. He wants it to transition from yes. a generation to, a next, to, to the next mm. generation. He wants us to teach our children yes. how to operate, how to function, how to release this blessing into their upcoming households. He wants that blessing to be something that we display mm. in the fellowship over the nation when we pray yes for instance for those in authority mm. we should be speaking and releasing blessings for that's their right. success that's right that's right because like we read earlier when we bless people god will increase that blessing upon yes. us so it, yes. it's not just limited to the church environment or to the kingdom of god but it is a lifestyle that he is cultivating for us to have successful interactions in the earth this is the place where you come and you're, you're edified and you're, you're taught how to walk how, or, or how to access this blessing. You know, we have watered this down so much to just the houses and the car. Do you understand the, the rights, the rights of passage that you have, the legal right that you have in the earth? That's the realm that God calls us to live in. It is said that the father, the father carries the anointing to build houses. And I got to break this down. That's why we need to, the Bible says that, that, that God will cause the fathers to, uh, to return back to the sons and the sons back to the fathers. We need to reposition ourselves in this season. I'm telling you, if you're a man and you're watching, you might not be living with, with your child, mother, whatever. But your, the important thing is for you to set the order when it comes to your children. I'm telling you. Because fathers carry the anointing. They carry the anointing to build houses both spiritually and naturally we have been building a lot of natural houses but not a lot of spiritual houses we have been constructing a lot of natural things or we have been attempting to construct a lot of natural things and we have not been building according to pattern because the, um, the only way you can build according to pattern is when you are in the spirit because the spirit of the Lord will show you exactly the, the, the dimensions in, in terms of how you should build, how you should build your sons and how you should build your daughters. That's what should happen. We build them uh, by faith. We build them, we, we, we have the anointing, fathers have the anointing to unlock uh, the, 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 the divine purpose and potential that is locked within the sons and daughters. Yeah. That is, that is, that is, that is, that is putting them in a position of ownership that's putting them in a position of true apostolic and prophetic blessings that is what we should do we should be able to unlock your father your father should be able to unlock that and that's why it's so important that we connect to God our father because that's what the Holy Spirit does in us he begins to show us clearly who we are and what we what we were born for in this earth realm you now people ask me a lot of times it's like yo you're like mad confident. I was not like this. But I started searching this out. I started searching this word out. And you have to know why you are born. For what purpose you are born. Under what circumstances you came into the earth. And to the degree of the circumstances you came into the earth. You understand how to the level in which you should take over. Because you can see the realm in which the, the enemy is trying to hinder and stop you. Mm. And to the measure in which he's trying to stop you, it tells you how much you are here to take over. Yes. 
every time you see certain types of blockage, certain types of, 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 of roadblocks that come in your way, it tells you the weight and the measure of what God has placed inside of you for you to carry in this yes. earth realm. Yes. It means that you are not carrying nothing that is, that, is, that, is, that is insignificant. You are carrying weight. You are carrying something that is so significant. And what you are carrying, it's not even for you. So your pressure and your pain and your hurt and your backstabbing and all the different things that happen is trying to take you off focus or derail you from the real thing that you are supposed to embrace in this season. So you gotta raise, you gotta rise above that, and know what the word of God says concerning you, because it never says that that, that, that that trials and tribulation are not gonna come. We like to say, you know, when all these things come, there's a way God will make a a, a way of when temptation and a way of escape, and we just we just um, try to uh, bring that into you know these little. Let me tell you something. Yeah, let me just try to stop the real you from being you. Are we together today? We want to look at. You're still here. Oh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> you want to roll? Say, so you oh. Help me, Jesus. So, fathers, fathers, men, fathers, we carry, we carry the key to unlock the potentials within our children. We carry the key to unlock the potential. And you might be sitting, you might be saying, but, 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 Apostle, I don't have my father. You got spiritual fathers. You have God, your father. Are we together? The father is the one that gives significance to their children. Do you know that? Whenever a child gets... No, I end up over here. I end up over here. Whenever a child gets the approval, and, and, and mind you, most of us, we are, we are seeking, most of you, you are seeking the approval of or the validation of a father or a male. I'm telling you. And that's why a female can't be a male. Because she, she can't give that, that level of approval. Yes, I said that. Cannot. So, <laughs> the fathers have a significant mandate. This level of blessing that we are talking about comes through. And that's why... Uh, if you if, if if you find a spiritual father, you I'm not just talking about somebody walking around and just say, Oh, this is my daughter. I'm talking about somebody that cares for you. That that watch out for your soul. That's what I'm talking about. Not someone that compromises with you. That watch for your soul. That's what it's about. Are we together? So fathers have a, or they bring significance to your life in terms of releasing and unlocking that level of blessings in your life. Go read your Bible, you're going to see. When we talk about the term, when you hear the term in the Hebrew, bless, it, that, that word is, is burak, as baro, as burak. Let me see if I can spell that. It's B-A-R-U-C-H. Do I have that right? And that's the Hebrew for that. When you talk about the, the in the Hebrew, uh, Bless. It speaks of kneeling or kneel down before Another someone, someone, empowering uh, to prosper. It speaks of success. It speaks of succeeding. It speaks of financing. It speaks of, and, and the list goes on and on. But the number one, the number one thing is about, it speaks of identity, um, uh, impartation. The number one thing is for, is, is, for, uh, is for that thing inside of you to be unlocked. And I'm telling you, we have lots of people in, in, in the kingdom, in church, who have not allowed themselves to be fathered so that this thing can be unlocked inside of you. Because when it's unlocked inside of you, that is the only time you're able to uh, pass this thing on to the next generation. Because God is a generation of God. Are we together? Are you receiving this or I'm, I'm talking, just talking to you tonight? Are you hearing what I'm saying tonight? Huh? It is God's great pleasure that you that you and I walk in true prosperity. It is God's pleasure. He wants that He wants that blessing to come upon you. If 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 we are to back up a little, and we like to talk, and I think we 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 started talking about this uh, the last couple of weeks. We like to talk a lot about 
old and all the generational curses that came down from our four parents and 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 you know our grandfather did this and this body this and everybody like and i gotta cut off this why are you cutting off if if why are you uh renouncing if you are if you're not going to replace that curse with something, something then you're positive, wasting time yeah and the same way that you would have had uh, generational curses coming down, there were generational blessings that were there. And we have, we have got to come to a place in this hour where we begin to tap into it. In some of our families, I know that you had to have wealthy people in your family. I know you had to have prayer warriors in your family. I know you had to have people uh, who, who would have stand for righteousness in your family. Come on now. And how about us begin to tap into see in, in the line what was there. And so we can pull that in to our, into our lives. All we talk about, and I know that we had cancer in the family. And I know we had this. As much as you had uh, uh, all, all those stuff in the family. Listen, you had to have health in the family. Listen, you know, one of the things in our family, and we just do thank God, is that, is that you know, our parents, they, they live long. Like, like for real, you know. Yeah, and I got 80 and 90 and all of them. My grandmother lived to 90 something. Her grandmother lived to 90 something. You know what I'm saying? 99. You, you feel what I'm saying? One year shy. They were, they were, they were, edu they, 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 they were, they were uh, 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 people of great academics in your family. They were yes. great, uh, 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 great uh, business. Yeah, opportuni uh, 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 opportunities in your family, entrepreneurs in your family. And we, yes. have, we have got to begin to tap into these realms and pull them. Ask yourself, why is it that the enemy is trying to keep me in, po in poverty? Maybe he's trying to keep me in poverty because there is a held up blessing that you have not tapped into. Yeah. Yeah. And you can, and you can identify, just like how you can identify mm. the generational curses. Jesus. You can identify the generational blessing. That's right. The entrepreneur spirit or the entrepreneur anointing is a heavy mantle That's that right. is in our gene line. In our in our personal gene line on both sides of the family. And we do not deny our children the right to function in that area. Whatever they want to do in the area of entrepreneurship, we push them, we invest in them. Because we know we see it in, 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 the, in the bloodline. And you got to go pull it. You got to go after it. Whenever a child comes to you and he or she begin to say stuff, and you're hearing them from an early age, like, I want to do a business. I want to start a business. They say, I just hear it like I'm talking. I'm hearing you in your ears, in my ears. Every time you hear that, it means that there's, there's a seed of that thing there that, that, we, need, that, yeah, yes. that we need to tap into. Yeah. When I was growing I don't know but working with people <laughs> like for real for shizzle <laughs> i don't know what that's like i don't know what that's like i remember when i was when i was coming up just finished high school and all of that had my big job clerical job and i would go there and bore and i'm bored my co my friends are comfortable with that one figure per month you know what i'm saying and in my mind i could just see zeros <laughs> you know what i'm saying and I, I remember when i stepped out and we started doing here and so people were not doing that and you know in my spirit i just felt that this can work and 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 the, the, the level and that's when you know that god is in it the type of opposition that we had was not no regular op opposition that's why whenever you begin to see a certain level of opposition you know that god is in this thing yeah are you hearing me you know that god is up to something and that's a time when you got to pursue you got to push you got to push with everything i'm hearing you 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 you got to push with everything are we together? You have what it takes. Somebody say, I have, I have what it takes. I have what it takes. There is a generational authority of blessing that, sh that God not just want to, but has already, we, are already been, we have already been blessed with all spiritual blessing. We have to embrace it and tap into it in this hour. Are we together? Hmm. Hmm. Because we got to impart this thing to our generation. We have to. Everybody is trying to get a job. Everybody is trying to work 
for somebody. If anybody knows me, I oftentimes if I got if I grab you in a corner, <laughs> I try to tell you, you know, you can create this thing. You can create jobs. You can become a job creator. You can create, you can, you can, you can create jobs for people. You gotta you have to see it like that. Hmm. Let's define the father's mandate for a minute. Can we do that? Yeah. Are we doing good? Yeah. Mm, look at the time. We look at the father, which is the first Adam. And he was placed on the earth. And he was given the job. Genesis chapter 2 and 15. And the Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to tend, to guard, and to keep it. Those are some serious terms. Tend, to guard, and keep it. So in other words, Adam was given responsibility. The word tend in the Hebrew is lav lavada. L-A-V-D-A-H. I spell for you if you don't get it right. And the root word is avad. A-V-A-D. And means this means to work. So Adam was given that mandate to work. It says if a man doesn't work, he shall not eat. Now watch this. Most of the times, when we, when we hear the term work, the only thing that runs to our mind is how we can work for somebody. But God has given you potential. Oh, Lord Jesus. Every one of you online and those of you sitting here, you have untapped and hidden potential. Yep. Every time we hear the term uh, work, we, we tend, I got to go and get to work. I got to go and work for somebody. And mind you, there is, there, there's a season when you will work for people. But then there come a season where, and even, and I, I believe that, that as much as you're working for people, there are some things that God has placed in you where people can work for you. So you see how this thing goes. Yeah. Where people can work for you. So we got to take note that we have established that, 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 that in the garden, which was, the, which, which it was like the sanctuary, Adam was given a mandate to work. He was given a mandate to, to, to tend, to keep, to guard. So he had a mandate. Just like the scripture says that the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. And who are the day? We are. That what? Dwell. Some of us operate like we're just tippy-toeing through the earth. No. We got to walk through the earth with a level of dominion. That means you got to walk with weight. You feel what I'm saying? Don't just tip it toe and try to get to heaven. Don't just tip it toe and watch it all that is happening in the earth. And like, oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that. Look at her. And some of us, oh, I got to say this. Some of us, we move through the earth so critical. We never, we never get a chance to release what God really gives us to release. Because we are so critical of what, happen, what is happening in the earth. You have to move to the earth because God has given it to you. You got as you move there, you got to move with a sense of ownership that I'm here, and while I'm here, I'm here with weight. The reason why I'm saying weight is because you never see the mark. You never see the mark in the mud unless there's weight. Correct. 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 You never see the impression unless there's weight. Are we together? Y'all know I'm high price. <laughs> Yeah, Bas, I I just roll in. <laughs> Speak. So it's, oh, it's very important for us to understand that we're here to work. This notion that some of us have in the body of Christ, that blessings are going to fall from the sky, <laughs> that's not reality. Hmm. That is not reality. Come on now. Come we have on to now. do like Rihanna said. We must work, work, and work. Because I don't want to sing it. What? Yes. <laughs> Everybody does work, work, work. It's work, right? Right. So, yeah. and, and seriously, we must be putting our hands to doing things that is expanding our level of in influence. That's right. Always. Yeah. Beautiful. Whether you're studying, you're reading information, whether you're producing something out of, out, of, out of the essence of what God has given to you as a gift, or whether you are influencing on the platforms that God has given you to sit upon. You must be penetrating through systems in a positive way. It says kings and priests were made to what? 
to reign as a king and a priest it means that God has called us to take care we are like caretakers in the earth realm as a king and as a priest and both of them go together you are both yeah. king and you're both priests Priest, yeah and both of both of those uh, paradigms have their place we are kings when we're out in the earth and we're functioning in the world system we become the priests when we enter into the presence of the Lord because we lay down our crowns to worship the king of kings and there is a distinct difference between the two we can also function in a priestly capacity in our homes but when we out in the earth we are to manifest ourselves as the kings that oh, we are God. called to be let me tell you beloved this is some powerful stuff as 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 a uh, when when you look at the story with with Adam he was he was there to tend to keep he was there to to guard the word keep in the Hebrew is shamar and you've heard about the shamar prophet the word uh keep is is is, is in Hebrew is shamar and it really means to guard so we have been given that mandate I'm trying to show you how God wants this generational blessing to come down so you're not see so, so you're not just uh just a church goer and trying to be spiritual but you are God we are God's true representation on the earth where we begin to move in the earth realm with a with a with an understanding of ownership they should be coming to you and I for answers God will not do anything in the earth unless he, reve he first reveals it to his sons or the servants the prophets so it means that you and I have the anointing and the grace to regulate the temperature of how things move in the earth yes that's what should happen but we don't do that we are sitting back and we are waiting for something to we are we are <laughs> We are just reacting to everything. You've got to become proactive. We are reacting to everything. We wait till something happens and then we go do something. We wait till somebody wears something, then we go wear something. You have to, because you carry that DNA of God, of Christ inside of you, you have to be out ahead. You, in other words, we become the trendsetters in everything because we are the ones that, 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 that operate in the blessing. We should, the blessing that, 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 that we should see on the outside should come from us. It should come from you. It should come from me. Are we together, prophetess? Are you, are you hearing what we say tonight? It is time for us to rise up, beloved. When you come out of your healing, when you come out of your pain, when you come out of your darkness, when you come out of your, 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 your dark place and you come into light, what you have come into is what is right and what you should be. You have stepped out of what was not and you have now stepped into the original state of who you should be. That means that when you step into that place, you should begin to manifest from that place truth should come forth out of you revelation should come forth out of you and i know i know that the church quit at that place application should come forth out of that place manifestation should come forth out of that place in other words you become who you really are when you cross from when you cross from from that place of, of of poverty and you come into prosperity you flow from that place when you cross from that place of 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 of, of sickness to that place of health you flow from that place when you come when you cross from that place of 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 being in a tight place to an to a well open space you're supposed to manifest from that place do you understand that when you move from a tight place from a locked up place or a, uh, and you come into an open space you think differently you see differently you smell you smell things different 
Are we together? Because you have now stepped into an open space. The scripture talks about pushing your tent peg out. You got to expand your, your paradigm. That's why the Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Do you understand where the thinking capacity is? It's a matter of that man begins to expand his, his paradigm, his way of seeing life. His peripheral view. That's it. And that man becomes a dangerous man to the enemy because he has vision. Are we together? We are talking about generational uh, blessings tonight. It is time for the body of Christ. It's time for the sons to arise and understand uh, their, 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 their position. It's time for men to rise up because the boys become father. And on, unless the boy <clears throat> is taught what he has and what he should be and the realm he should function in, he will never understand how to rise to the occasion of being a father to release that blessing to the next generation. Never, ever, ever, never, ever. So he has to be taught what it should be like. So while some of the brothers run around just trying to look good, it's not about looking good, it's about being good. Yeah, yeah. The enemy has tricked us into believing that <laughs> the clothes and the things defined us. But the thing that really defines you is what you possess and what you produce that, that, that changes society and changes life forever. That's the thing. That's why the Bible says that is Christ in us. Christ in us. Christ in us. Christ in us. That's why a powerful man or a powerful woman is one that has embraced uh, the things of God and allow the Holy Spirit to be at work on the inside. Because if you allow the Holy Spirit to get to be at work on the inside, it changes your, the, the very trajectory of your entire life and destiny. And if your life and destiny changes, then it means that everything that comes out of you, the seed that comes out of you, will automatically begin to shift. So what the enemy does, he, 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 <laughs> He holds the one in bondage and hostage because the millions and the thousands can be affected. Are you hearing what I'm saying to you tonight? He holds the one. If he can get one to be selfish, if he, oh God, if he can get one to be selfish to be proud. and to be proud, because we are supposed to impart to the next level, to the next generation, so that there can be continuity. Yes. Yes. So if he can get one to hold in, to, 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 to stay in a place where it's about me, then we hinder the forest from coming forth because the tree has remained selfish. Mm. That's powerful. That's powerful. Uh, are, are, are we together? I hope you understand what we're saying tonight. I just feel that the Holy, I just feel the Holy Ghost just, just causing some things to bubble up right now. Because this thing is so, so powerful. That's why when, when, when a man, when, when in, in marriages and so forth, oftentimes the one that, that is affected unconsciously and, and, and is not even looked upon is the male seed. Because he carries the, 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 the capacity and the strength and the weight to release the next generation and unlock the potential of the next generation. The mother carries, the woman carries the seed. The woman receives the seed. The father carries it. The woman receives it. If the male is out of place, everything else is out of place. Oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Are you hearing of what we're saying tonight? Are you receiving something tonight? We have to tap, we have to, to tap into this whole generational blessing. You can, and I'm, I'm getting ready to close. You and I can regulate the temperature within our house. And if you're, a, if you're, if you're a, 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 a single mother, the grace of God is upon you. You can operate in a fatherly grace too. Are we together? Prophetess, I think we got to close. <laughs> 
Oh Hallelujah. my God, oh my God, oh my God. We do believe that the Lord has spoken in a great way to us tonight. So we are going to pray for grace that we can stand in the full potential of what the Father, Father in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this opportunity to share your Come word. on, raise your hands. For Go ahead and share it with somebody. That are Come on. on the live who have been listening, God. We pray, oh God, that the grace for us to stand Jesus. in the posture that you have assigned for us as sons, that we will do it. We pray, oh Father, not just for the female, but for the male, oh God, that the thing that you have called the men to do in the earth, that they will begin to yes. manifest it as yes. sons of God in the earth. Come on, lift that up your we, hands, oh open Father, your mouth. the women that you have assigned to help as a help me would, oh God, facilitate the, the, the aspect that you have designed Jesus. for us in the name of Jesus. We pray Get for every man sata. that the paradigm rebe, rebe, of their rebe, understanding rebe. has shifted tonight, mighty God. Yes, Lord. And that there is an adjustment that is occurring Jesus. in their heart, in their spirit, and Jesus. in their mind and their motive in Le the name of Jesus. Robo, that wherever up. deception has crept in and the enemy has caused them to think lower than they ought to be, Jesus. that tonight they take a stand in the name of Jesus yes. to stand in, in, the, in the posture of sons oh, of God in the so earth Robo, that up. the grace of the Father would be multiplied upon yes. them so yes. that the blessings yes. of the yes. Lord can be released through them yes. unto their sons, yes. their natural and spiritual yes. sons oh, Robo, in the mighty Kassata. Name of Jesus, we pray, oh God, that as we stand, oh God, in the posture that you have designed yes. as a people in the earth, that we will reflect the image of our Father and the destiny that you have assigned yes. for us, and the ones that you have called us to draw out of darkness, oh God. we oh shall reach God. them for the glory of your name yes. in the name of Jesus. That the execution Jesus. of the kingdom will be fulfilled yes. in our everyday life. We pray in the mighty name of Jesus. We call those things in us. Us, uh, yes. that are not uh, now. as though they now. were in the now. mighty name of Jesus now. and we divinely align now. ourselves to Rebe the purpose that God has assigned for us in the earth in the mighty yes. name of Jesus. We forcibly hey. enforce uh, the Rebe will of the Shata. Father for our lives and our Jesus. destiny and we choose to make the impact that you have called us to do Father yes. in the mighty name of Jesus we pray. And we activate Yes, we Lord. activate. Come on now. We activate, activate. every potential. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every gift. We activate it in now. So that you can step into the, into the blessing that God has released upon in you. The I decree and Jesus. declare over your in life and your Robo destiny. Rebo the, the blessing of God Jesus. tonight. Make a Robo Come Robo on, open up your mouth. Rebeko Sata Ramandebo Shata. I decree and declare. And I say the Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord protect you. The Lord sustain you. The Lord guard you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. Oh God, the Lord release his favor upon you. In the name of Jesus. And be gracious to you. The Lord surround you with his loving kindness. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you. Oh God. And, and release his divine approval. My God, the Lord releases divine approval. Somebody need to hear that. The Lord releases divine approval upon you. Glory to God. Now in the name of Jesus, I release God's shalom, God's peace upon you. I release it upon you in you right now. In the name of Jesus, you are a walking blessing. Glory to God. You are a walking blessing. I decree and declare that over your life and your destiny. Destiny. We destroy, we destroy every work, every plan, every in the name system of, Jesus. of the enemy. We destroy it in and we superimpose the blessings of God upon your life. Yes, we superimpose it upon your life. I decree and declare further that from this day forward that you will walk in the true eternal blessings of God. And the blessing that is upon you will not only affect you, but affect your generations to yes, come. Glory to God. Your Jesus. sons, your daughters in will be affected positively with the blessing of God. Glory to God. I decree and declare that apostolic and prophetic doors are being opened because of the weight of the blessing. 
that, that, that you carry. I decree and declare that you are a blessing carrier. Glory to God. I declare it over you. Doors are open. Nations are open. Oh God, signs and wonders are released upon you because you carry, because you carry the weight of God's blessing. Oh, I declare and decree that as we walk in the earth, that we will leave an impression because of the weight of the blessing that we carry, because of the value of the blessing that we carry. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that today, because we know it, that the word of the Lord over our life is arise and shine. Yes. For the light has come, the light has come, the light has come, and the glory and the blessing of God is risen upon you. Glory to God. I release that over your life now. In the name of Rabba Kasandele Boshata. Come on, those of you in the building, in the studio, lift up your hands and begin to worship God. Reba Baba Santa Bando Boshata Ramande. Lebro Kosata Ramande Rebosa. Because of the blessing of God that we carry, our lives become a magnet. A magnet for wealth. A magnet for influence. A magnet. Glory to God. I decree it now in the name of Jesus. Things are open up to us because we carry the blessings of God. Amen. 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 Just bless the Lord. Lift up your hands. Clap your hands. Oh my God. Those of you at home, just bless the Lord today. I, 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 I say to you, go to your children and release the blessing of God. Go and release Numbers chapter 6. Glory to God. And verses 22. Go and release it over your family today. In the name of Jesus, in the name in of Jesus, Jesus name. our Lord God, hallelujah. hallelujah. We want to thank you so much. You do that. <laughs> thank you so oh, much Jesus. for joining us tonight. Hallelujah. We're here again on Wednesday. Glory to Every God. Wednesday we're here for Word Life for hallelujah. one hour. We would love to see you in the sanctuary with us. There is a resident anointing here. There is His power in the presence of the Lord. Yes. So as we gather, we just gather for one hour for word life so we, we continue to encourage you I encourage you to look uh, in the week ahead for all the things that yes. we'll be doing here at the Jew Center amen glory to God they're gonna put the information on the screen remember that this coming Sunday is it's blessing Sunday man it's blessing Sunday I'm telling you blessings Sunday so you don't want to miss it I want you to come to the house of God early listen we're gonna have two services come because God, there are some things that will be unlocked in your life. Amen. I'm telling you, come expecting God to unlock. I'm telling you, last Sunday, Jesus, we started play, praying for families and we went in. We went in. So, and, I, and yesterday we had an opportunity to show a rebroadcast of that. Yeah. Amen. And we were being blessed. We were, we were sitting here like, oh gosh, we're being blessed by this. But listen, yo, this coming Sunday, I'm telling you, it is Blessings Sunday. I'm telling you. Bring out your family, those of you that are in Guyana, bring them out. Amen? Because we believe that something awesome and supernatural will take place. There's going to be miracle signs and wonders in this place. All right? Uh, they're going to put the information of how, how you need to sow. Those of you that are on the life today, remember, because you are blessed, then money is nothing. 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 Is, it's just money. All right? So... Don't get nervous, you know. Let me tell you something. Because you're blessed, you're living in, in the millionaire's realms. And yes. those, yeah, those are the kind of, uh, uh, you know, numbers, the stuff that you're writing in this season. So go ahead and sow a seed today. And um, we would love to hear from you. If you have a testimony, please don't hesitate to or inbox us. Request. Or a prayer request. Please don't hesitate to inbox us. And we would love to do that. So God bless you again. On behalf of everyone in the studio here today, we say God bless you. Put your hands together. Hallelujah. Let them hear. They can't see you, but they can you hear time. that you're here. Glory to God. That okay. means that you should show up. Because there's a, there's a resident anointing here. God bless you so much. And we look forward to seeing you. Hallelujah.